true, you see. Mm -hmm. But for this fucking thing, it probably doesn't fucking matter because there's only a bit of plastic, no guarantee those fucking holes are exactly in the centre of the fucking fixture anyway. Mm. There's only rough and out like three or four there, eh? So, we've got that done. So if that's one eighth at the back there. All they do is put a fucking groove up here somewhere now. So, just work it out, man. There we go. Right, we're going to there. Seven, right? Now this fucking thing one point five sixty two, say two. So two hundred if we push that in, there'll be 200 off there. So I want to put an eighth washer in there. A one eighth washer, 125. Yeah. Eight. Three from 11 goes eight. 88 there. So the circlet would be 88, the front of the circlet. a lamb for the one eighth fucking washer. One eighth washer like that. Um so what we gotta fucking do it, yeah? So what the circlet's gonna be probably sixty thousand thick. It's gonna come this morning. So we can always make that slightly thinner to increase that. Mm -hmm. This um, bit of plastic has a thread in it and it's off a bed. Like a hospital. hospital bed that lifts up and down for people that are sick. Mm -hmm. Hospital bed. And we glued these back on. But it snapped off there and it snapped off there. You can see where the crack is. Can't buy this. The bloke who owns this, this old guy that came here who owns this hospital bed, he um, tried to get this part that failed, that broke. There's like a pin that goes in that hole and a pin that goes in that hole. And then these arms come out and you push the button on the bed and the bed lifts up and down and moves around anyway so this does all that this is the nut that turns on a shaft that moves the bed up and down he contacted this american company where the bed's made and he couldn't get a response they just don't want to help him for some reason can't buy the part so we're going to fix it with a steel bush. I'm going to put this steel bush over it with a circlip so it won't fail again. Our internal circlips 
Here's one here. Eh? One inch and a half. Yes, I want to know the thickness of them, see? So, inch and a half, there we go. Housing, inch and a half. Thickness, 50 thou. It's 50 thou thick now. You had a boring bar here, which I think had a circuit room in. It's all in it. See that one? That's bigger, about a hundred. Seventy-five thousand, that one and that's one and uh, probably nearly a one and a half there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Grind it down. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I've got fucking hundreds of tips for it. Hundreds? Just <laughs> grind it down so it's suitable. It doesn't matter, I can possibly find one here in a minute. Okay. I've got a lot of uh, You see that goes in, and then you plunge it in, and it makes a groove for a circlip. That's what that tool's made for. Forty-four. So just it's, uh, it's forty-four. So you just take a side cut, you see? Mm-hmm. Yeah, forty-two. Oh, four, that'll be a nice one. So we're finished with this bloody thing, I think. There's my bit of Plastic go over here. Right. Why it's right. Okay, so all we're going to do is uh, put that little tool in the end or something. Yeah. Um, 
25 to that. 13. 1. 113 foul. We make it 113. That's right. 13. 10, 11. 113. Nah. Two point eight eight mil. Too long this uh, bar on this, but we'd have to just um, put it. It's 113 there. That's right. Oh. 113 there. Oh. <laughs> and
there. I wanted to make that a bit less. Filming all this shit. Give them an education, eh? I see. So. Education? The people watching this wouldn't do it for education, they'd just do it because they're sitting on the couch bored as fuck. An education? That's what you're doing. See? Let's have a look at that one. Let's have a look at that. Oh, So is it finished? Well, it is mine as the washer. We've got to mill all this out now. Can you look at it? You got to. We've got to mill that out. Mm. And put them holes down here. Mm -hmm. We've got to measure. So we put that in the three jaw chuck in the. Um, in the machining centre, you've got to mill that because the micro switch hits there. If you've got it that way or that way, it doesn't matter, you see. That's what they were for. So you've got to run a round mill straight through the centre line of that and measure what it can be, the end mill. Well, 13 mil. 13. Well, it doesn't matter if it's 4. You haven't got a 14 mil end mill, have you? Of course I do. You got a 4. No, you haven't run a 14. Well, that's no 13. Why don't I just use a 12? Well, you can use a 12 if you want. Well, you can use a 12 if you want. And you've got to make that, that piece, that one, and you've got to make that one. That one there, and that one there. Won't be breaking it once it's in this, will it? How thick the bloody thing is. Better lift up a bridge. Add three mil to that. That's nine. deep. Doesn't matter if it goes deeper. Huh? That micro switch, you can just put the 12 straight through there, you know, because the micro switch is miles small. It's only a little flat that wide. <laughs> so you just put a, tw tw a 12 mil straight through at 9.3 deep. Mm -hmm. That is already, as I say, 6.3, 3 mil. So it'll be right. Even... Um, even uh, nine and a half, just make that nine and a half mil deep, deep, 12 by 12 mil wide, see, 
I just do it by hand, no program, yeah? Well, there you just touch it and um, put it to the centre line. Now, we've got to work out what the, this centre line is going to be. Is this is 45.3 in diameter, right? 45.3 diameter. So if you're going to touch 12, half of that, 2, 2, Halfway is going to be. That's right. Two, two, one. Twenty-two point six plus half the twelve mil goes six equals twenty-eight point six. Mhm. Mm twenty-eight point six. That's the end mill there, 28.6 be on the centre line, you touch that, it goes straight through, nine and a half deep. So that'll get that bloody um, finished, and we've got to put it in the vice that way. And now when that's, what you can do, you run an indicator over the tops of the flat, and you know whether it's where it is, and then we'll work out the, where the hole has to go. Anyway, we can just put the three-draw truck in there now. I'm going to make a quick coffee, Dad. Huh? I'm going to make a quick coffee before all this. Whatever, I'll do the, 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 um, the chuck. Let's see what... I get this big cup of coffee. Big boss. Mmm. Ah, now... Dad's just set up. Ugh. Ah, Dad's just set up the three jaw chuck clamped onto the table of a CNC machining center. It's a Morisiki Fanic controlled. I've got to turn on this air compressor because the CNC machine needs. Ugh. Ugh. An air compressor on. There's a five ton truck hoist for $5,000 if anybody wants to buy it. Works, made in Tasmania. Uh. So that's on. Now we can turn the machine on. Drawing. Okay. You see? Fanic control. Moriseki MV40. Fantastic machine, this. See? Three jaw chuck. One, two, three. Three jaws. You can get four jaws. Three jaws. This is a three jaw. Alright, I'll turn the machine on. Yeah, there's one in the chuck. It's 12, is it? Yeah. That one's 10, I think. It looks like it's smaller. Yeah, it's 10. Uh, I mean tool 2. That's tool 1. Tool 2 has a 12. Let me get it out. So, we first zero the machine. Okay. So, zeroing. Mm -hmm. no. Now, manual data input, program, tool two, end of block insert, M6, end of block insert, start. That is two, 12.
I know it's 12. Long way out, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, well, it'll be oh, alright. It'll be 12. Right, well, what we're going to do is bring that over the centre line so we can then touch one side and move it that uh, measurement on it it's 22.6 remember <coughs> oh, Dad. rapid down so you can touch that side because this is going that way you put the paper and the paper will want to push out on this side wouldn't it yeah it touched just there yeah well, you're going to have to touch it eventually there, but just bring it roughly in the centre. Okay. So. I'm just going to stop filming because I can't hold this. Yeah, right to the other side, you're only cut through the tube now, you see. Yep. Keep going. You see? Cut it. Alright. So, that end mill. So that's, uh, it should be central. I would have filmed it, but it's hard to push all these dials while I'm holding a phone. So, it's, um, that now, when that goes in there, up to that area, well, this edge will be exposed for the micro switch on the motor. Yes. So what we're going to do now, these holes, we've got to work out where these holes are. How far from there? These holes. I'll, have a, I'll just measure it. And uh, I'll just go and be there. What we've got to do, we've got to hold that in a vise. And we'll have to put an end mill right through. Now that, that should be in the centre. So, We'd have, to, we'd have to clock that zero zero and put a tool there and come across the same way that we worked out to arrive at that centre. 20, using that, oh wait a minute, that was 12 mil, that's right. So the central position, the movement is at 28.6, using a 12 mil end mil that is, because we added six. So 12 mil go to there, but it can't be 12 mil old. It's only um, three eight those holes in this. Uh, no. In this mechanism, it's three eight. Now what we could do, we could make the hole fractionally smaller so that the pins are pushing on this and not on that. Mm -hmm. You see. So if we made that instead of 375. We could make it, uh, say, 9 mil, couldn't we? We'd get an 8 mil end mil. Mm -hmm. um, and if we made it not 9 mil all the way through, we just turn those bolts down from 3 8 to um, just a fraction under 9. 9 mil is it? Uh, 9 mil is. Uh, where is it? There's nine, right? It's twenty thou under, eh? That's what we'll do. Then, then it's, it's, it's pushing, not pressurising that. The whole lot is being pushed. We can always put shim under the washer to make uh, this side tight. That circle is actually one and a half. I've got it over there. One and a half. I must have been looking at a. This must be a heavy duty circle, but anyway, that would still be all right, would it? I said it was 50 thou. That's 60. Anyway, we've only got to make a fraction wider. So, I'll go and take the burrs off this. Okay. Take that chuck off, blow okay. it all down. Okay. 
So, if I had a cameraman, I could film all this shit and do it, but I can't. So I have to, unfortunately, use the machine and then film after, which is a bit of a shame. But we put spotting drill in, that drill, and then the eight mil drill. So now, when that goes into there, that's nine mil, that's nine point of three inch and three eight. So we just got to deburr it, bit of emery in there, put mm -hmm. that in, put a washer on there, put the circuit in there, and it'll hold it, won't it? Yes. Um, <coughs> so I'll just go and. Uh, so it's done. All it finished. So uh, now I'm going to make a washer. Put the washer on top of it and so we get the circuit. And we always pull the washer and grind it down until the circuit goes in tight. And turn them little posts down. Okay. So it's all, right. all together. The micro switch will hit there or there, whichever way you put it in this framework. See this frame? It goes in there like that. So we just got to turn them down to 9 mil run that thread along um, you left one washer at home see oh well but anyway we won't let me just quickly hold that so see it's in there the plastic nuts with his down to the shoulder you made them made it all made this sleeve oh you gotta put your circlip in there do that so we just gotta run that along slightly that's all. I'll take them down with me. He's, um, there's the motor that it all works on. Hey, square thread that. So the pressure will be shared over the Pressure's on this, is all on the end, it'll never break again. Um, so, I'll take those, make them 9 mil, do them 3 mil longer, because the threads go way past there. This will go in, won't even touch that, because that's already uh, 3 8, which is 9 point uh, something, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Go and do that. Okay. All right then. Oh, he said, uh, only if I can get it before I die, like yesterday, remember? Yeah. You did it in one day. Yeah. 